know what? You might be better than me today. You might be better than me tomorrow. You might be better than me this season. But one thing that I can promise you is that I am going to give it everything I got to the day that I die to prove you and everybody else wrong. I will be everything that you said that I couldn't be. I will dedicate every practice to give it everything that I got. I will ask questions to get the answers that I need to come take your position. That's my mentality. If I gotta wake up every day at five o'clock in the morning and run, as long as I woke up before you, then my day is started off great. When you go to sleep at night, just know that I'm out running or working out to come take your position. There are going to be times in your life where you are kicked down. Where you feel like you can't go on anymore. Where you don't feel like getting out of bed. Where you feel like you are beat down and the weight of the world is on your shoulders. And you're not sure if you could carry this thing anymore. I'd be lying to you if I said, I never have down periods. That I don't feel depressed, that I don't feel anxious, that I don't feel sad, that I don't feel like the world is kicking my tail. But you gotta find a way. You gotta find something to keep going, to keep pushing forward. To just give that little boost to push you through the day. To push you through tomorrow and the next day until you get out of this funk. You gotta find something inside you to do it. And you gotta understand that it's a test. It's a test of your will, of your grit, of your mental toughness. And the more brilliant you are, the more you will be tested. You fight through the depression, you fight through the anxiety, you fight through the stress, you fight through all of the negative, all of the circumstances around you that are beating you down to your knees. And you just gotta stand up. Listen to me very closely, you gotta hear what I'm saying. Pain is temporary. If you push through, the gates will open, that you will reach your goals, your targets, and you will become the best you if you keep moving one foot after the other, after the other. Pain is gonna take you to the next level. I know what you feel it, but you gotta work through it. And if you work through your pain, on the other side is a reward. Your pain ain't permanent. You can get through this. You bigger than your pain. You better than that. I've been trying to get that into your spirit. I've been trying to get you to celebrate pain. How strong are you mentally to fight through this thing? You gonna work through this. You're going to get up, you're going to get dressed, and you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called me, and you're going to prove that everybody that tried to break you, you're going to prove them wrong. Everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dreams, you're going to prove all of them wrong. Anybody can be good when times are good.
But when things are bad in your life, how good are you going to be? Because that's the test of you as a human being. Will you show up? Will you bring it? So bring it. And the story is about, you guys have probably heard about this before. It was a, it was a young man who, you know, he wanted to make a lot of money. And so he went to this guru, right? And he told the guru, you know, I want to be on the same level you are. And so the guru said, if you want to be on the same level I'm on, I'll meet you tomorrow at the beach at 4 a.m. He liked the beach. I said, I want to make money. I don't want to swim. Guru said, if you want to make money, I'll meet you tomorrow, 4 a.m. So the young man got there at 4 a.m. He all ready to rock and roll, got on a suit. He should have wore shorts. The old man grabs his hand and said, how bad do you want to be successful? He said, real bad. He said, walk on out in the water. So he walks out into the water. Watch this. When he walks out into the water, it goes waist deep. So he's like, this guy crazy. I'm Adrian, he's like, I want to make money. He got me out here swimming. I didn't ask to be a lifeguard. I want to make money. He got me in. So he said, come out a little further. Walked out a little further. Then he had it right around this area, the shoulder area. So this old man, crazy. He's making money, but he crazy. He said, come on out a little further. He came out a little further. It was right at his mouth. My man, like, I'm about to go back in here. This guy is mine. So the old man said, I thought you said you wanted to be successful. He said, I do. He said, walk a little further. He came, dropped his head in, held him down, hold him down. My man getting scratching, holding him down. I got you. I know you brushed it out, but I got you. He had him held down. I need you for an illustration. He had him held down just before my man was about to pass out. He raised him up. He said, I got a question for you. Somebody answered the question for me. He said, when you were underwater, what did you want to do? Lee, I'm looking for a different word, though, than lip. What's that word? He said, I wanted to breathe. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB, shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You've got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. Beyonce said once she was on the set doing her thing, three days had gone by, she forgot she didn't eat. Because she was engaged. i never forget uh, when 50 Cent was doing his movie, I did a little research on 50. And 50 said that when he wasn't doing the movie, he was doing the soundtrack. And they said, when do you sleep, 50? Sleep, he said, sleep. Sleep is for those people who are broke. I don't sleep. How many people in this locker room think that they're going to the major leagues? And this is an honest question. Put your hands down, I'm asking one more time. How many people in here think that they're going to the major leagues? All right, that's real. But what you got to understand is that when I walk into a locker room, when I walk into a championship locker room of a team or a program that wins, breeds championships, when I walk into a locker room where people always win, when you walk into the Dukes, 
When you walk, like for basketball, you walk into Coach K's locker room, you ask them how many of y'all going to the NBA. It's not something that them guys look to the left and to the right to look for permission to raise their hand because they're raising their hand for themselves. See, see, the problem is we all talk about it because coach puts it in you. Hey, guys, we're going to do it this year. But the problem starts here when somebody, when another man asks you a question about you and where you come from and ask you, are you going to the major leagues? You got to look to your left and to your right to see who's going to laugh because I struck out the last center squad. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. The margin for error is so small. I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves, and they want to tell you you can't. Want something? Go get it. Period. Don't be afraid to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You have to believe that something different can happen. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. That most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Deep down, dig deep down, ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. Make a choice, like you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. Why not? Why can't I be the MVP of the league? Why can't I be the best player in the league? 